Major changes in your life often come unexpected. A week ago, my favorite Aunt Grace called me. As a boy, I used to spend a lot of time on her lumber farm. Now, of course, she and my Uncle Charles have grown old, and they're looking forward to a happy retirement. They decided to sell their dwindling business and need my help to bring it up to shape. I'm only too happy to help them. Besides, I'm beginning to realize how much I miss the peace and quiet of the mountains, the clean air, the stunning views, and the sweat of good old-fashioned hard work. I'll put my city life on hold, turn off my telephone, and return to the bosom of nature, at least for a while. Great to see you. It's been years, but you've grown up so handsome. We've both missed you. It's nice to see you too. You look great as always, dear Auntie. I'm looking forward to staying with you. Well, thank you. You'll have our old house all for yourself. We've moved to a smaller house right across the street. It's a lot easier to keep tidy. I see you want to sell most of your property. Yes, we're looking for a buyer for the house and the lumber mill. We haven't got the strength anymore, and with no one to help, the buildings are a bit run down. I'll be only too glad to help you with whatever you need me to do. You realize that, don't you? Oh, thank you. You're so kind. I'm indeed worried about your uncle. He's too old to be out working in the forest, doing all the heavy lifting himself. I can imagine. The forest has always been very close to his heart. So how about a little tour? Follow me. I will show you everything. You know, I'm really fond of this place. I've spent most of my life here. Hello? Yes, darling? He just arrived. Oh no, do you need any help? I will ask him. Your uncle has a problem in the forest. Could you please get over there and see what's wrong? Yes, of course. Where can I find him? He's in a clearing behind the sawmill. I am sure you'll find him right away. Take our old pickup. It's parked in front of the house. Will do. See you later. Hello, lad. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, dear uncle. Aunt Grace told me you have a problem. Got stuck in the mud. 
I used to be better at handling an accelerator. Can you help me? Sure, no problem. What do you want me to do? Get on the tractor and try to attach the trailer. Let's see if you can get it out of the water. Well done. You have some skill, you know that? But this is just the beginning. Let's see if you remember how to handle a tree this time. Follow me, lad. Now pick up the chainsaw. Still remember what I taught you. Be careful. Good job. Great technique. You really have grown up strong. Now you need to cut away the branches and cut the trunk into logs. Think you can load the logs onto the trailer? Bring the vehicles here and give it a try.
Well done. Thank you, lad. Well, enough for today. Let's just head home. Thanks again for helping me. You did just fine today. Perhaps you'd like to help us with the farm and lumber mill some more, eh? Or even think about settling down here. Life is good and quiet. I'm sure you'd like it. You don't have to answer right away. Just think about it while you're helping us here for a week or two. And then we'll see if you like living here, all right? Hello, boys. Did you sort it out? Yes. It was a refreshing experience. If you still feel like it, I will show you around the farm. Maybe tomorrow. I'm really tired. No problem. Feel free to look around. You can sleep in the house, and if you're ever hungry, you just come on over to your old Auntie Grace. Well, we'll be off now. It's time for our nap. Enjoy your stay, dear. See you soon. See you soon, lad. Hello, dear. Good to see you. Hello, Auntie. How are you? I am fine, darling. But you look half-starved, dear. Here, I've prepared something for you.
Need me to help you with something? I haven't heard from Lily for quite some time. Could you go over there and see if she's okay? She's a herbalist, so she might be able to teach you a thing or two, too. Gotta go. Look after yourself. Need me to help you with something? Well, yes, actually. Our pickup, Christine, is left in the forest. She's not worth much, but it would be a shame if somebody stole her. Would you mind driving her back here? brought the car like you asked. Wonderful, thank you. Now that I think about it, you could use the truck more than I do now. Why don't you use her while you're here? She's not much, but I'm sure you'll like her. You should go and see Oliver. Last time we talked, he mentioned something about his barn that needs some repairs. Perhaps you could help him. I actually feel bad about asking you, but you've seen our old house and farm buildings. They're all in really bad condition. Could you bring them back to life? What do you think? Help us, old folks. We will share the extra profit, but only after we sell it. I cannot afford to pay you at the moment, but if you help, you will live comfortably while you stay here. That sounds good. I'll sort that out. I spotted a rather strange-looking man down by the river. He hid in the bushes when he saw me. Could you please check on him? I must say I'm a little scared. Will do. See you later.
Good to see you, lad. How are you? Hello, uncle. You all right? Everything's fine as always. Thank you. Gotta go. Bye.